And I will hand it over to Andrea, Anna, Claudia, and Mariana to kick things off. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's start. Wait a minute, please. Okay. Here we are. Are you there, Claudia? Claudia, are you there? Okay, perfect. So welcome to the here. I'm here. Can you go to the first slide, please? Yes. Okay. Here. Can you hear me? Because I'm at the university campus, so is the connection is not good. I don't think so. Claudia, we can no. hear you right now. We are listening. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. But we can't hear you right now if you're talking. Claudia, do you prefer you, we pass you the, the video for your part? Are you listening? Maybe better put the video. Yes. Okay. So wait a minute, please. Internet is always the problem. So we are going to listen Claudia in a very uh, mm -hmm. in a video because uh, she's not having good connection now. She's at the university. So this is uh, her part of the campaign. She, she's going to introduce it. Good morning, everyone. So I'm really happy to stay with you here. So sorry because this is a video, but I'm in classes now at the university, but I will be very attentive to your comments or to answer some questions. So let's continue with this presentation. As was mentioned, we are going to share some results of the Greens Within Life research campaign, the results of the first year that was in 2023, and some advances for the new year of the campaign. So during the first year of the campaign, the objective was to identify the most common tree species in Latin American and the Caribbean countries, describing their Andrea, I think we lost the sound on the video. Trees and to guide the students okay. uh, in order to they can um, propose some solutions for problems that they can or could be detected uh, during the campaign. Spe 
specifically, we wanted to know what are the most important or what, yeah, what were or what are the most important three species in the region, comparing the phenologic, phenological phases of trees common in, in, in or common trees in the region, measure the tree height and the diameter of the trees, and also characterize the cover of the sites where the trees grow. We are especially uh, interested in identifying environmental variables that influence the tree growth. And we are going to continue with this interest during this, this year. And also to recognize the importance of trees for educational communities, what we need to study and to plant trees. So in addition, the campaign aimed to contribute to the achievement of some important uh, SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, between them the zero hunger because some of the tropical trees are uh, trees that produce some fruits and very delicious fruits for us. And also, as we know, good, uh, trees contribute with good health and well-being. Uh, the campaign uh, Andre se cortó. Andrea, you're muted. Muted. The campaign. I'm sorry, it's okay now? No. Hello? The the audio is not not working, Andrea. On the soil, uh, we are going we are contributing right. with objective 15 uh, related to life on land. Um as we know the globe program is a community program, so for us it's really important to um promote the partnership for the goals. The campaign also has offered and offered uh, actually an opportunity for teachers to have new tools to make their classes more meaningful and improve students' perception about their environment. The campaign was launched in uh, February 2023. Uh, with a series of activities planned between them as uh, some webinars, a uh, guest presenters, a contest to choose the logo of the, of the campaign, some tutorials. We have developed tutorials in Spanish, in English, and in Portuguese, Portuguese also. And we promote uh, to, to give some incentives for field trips, also incentives to present uh, the, the students' project during the regional um, GLOBE meeting, also to increase the number of measurements. We have uh, worked collaboratively through Padlet, for example, or uh, through Mentimeter, water platforms. And for us also was important to have a list of the most popular uh, three species for the students and for teachers. And we, have a we wanted to contribute with uh, the teachers in order to help them help them to to write some uh, research for the ibss and we try to do some um advising to to uh, around this uh, research researchers sorry then what were the most important protocols in the in the campaign during the last year we used the three we used the three protocols of related to the atmosphere and four protocols related to biosphere between them the air temperature precipitation surface temperature green up green down land cover classifications and um, biometry uh, as i mentioned it the logo of the campaign was the result of a contest the biggest contest with more with close to 250 submissions from eight countries of drawings from the 
biggest <laughs> scholar community for us. This was a really interesting. So we chose the the most interesting logo, and we counted with invited jury from other regions to choose this logo. The winner was a student from Guatemala whose name is uh, Mayorly Juarez. The campaign in numbers, we had a total of 566 uh, teachers uh, registered in the campaign and some citizen science also. We have a total of 405 uh, people attended to the webinars. Uh, we had a uh, hundred teen teachers uh, and schools who have carried a uh, new uh, measurements during the campaign between this group of schools we have 13 new schools for the globe in september and also we have data from 18 countries in total we had a a total of 66,000 of, uh, of data using seven globe protocols from which 14 or almost 15,000 of the data were come from trees. Uh, you have here all the main protocols used during the campaign and the distribution mm -hmm. of the data in the different countries of the region. As we insisted to mention, <laughs> We had uh, the list of the common species of the most popular species uh, by the students uploaded to the Padlet. And we had some uh, interesting common species for many countries. For example, we have five countries that share this species as Enterolobium. In Spanish, we said Oreja de Negro, uh, Jacaranda, and Eritrina Cristagali that um, I don't know exactly the, the name in, in English, but also we have another interesting species that is Skinus moye. That is, is this species is very interesting because it grows in, in, the and, in all the Andean region and also is very important as a repellent for the mosquitoes, for example. So we try to discover um, another uses and the, what are, where the most popular trees and where they grow, how tall they are, etc. So now, uh, Anna, please, uh, the floor is yours. The number of the project uh, is a lot to respond to the, the school, for example, um, this is the the number the project teacher citizen science and teacher registered in the camp in campaign. Uh, uh, this is, is compare the years uh, the the uh, last uh, IBSS and the before uh, IBSS. And this is, is the country part uh, presented in the in this year. The, uh, this is, is the, the countries in the map and compare total um, report and a report relate, related the campaign, the green uh, light. And the topics in the, in the report uh, is very, uh, very different, but the almost part is three three characterization, mosquito, uh, trees and temperature, land cover, uh, carbon cycle, um, and other uh, topics in um, minor uh, project quantity. Um, they compare with the other region, uh, the Latin America is a, a, a great uh, number of projects. It, it, in the year, uh, have a um, uh, webinar uh, in each month. Uh, for example, February, July, uh, this is all the webinars. And August to December, uh, the uh, others webinar. The, the guest uh, is um, the from Global Program, uh, NASA, and the uh, regional uh, scientists in different countries. 
eh, the countries uh, um, the teacher registered in the campaign is a lot in uh, almost part of the countries of Latin America. Uh, prepare the tutorials uh, in the different language in Spanish, very important. Um, uh, for a lot of uh, countries speak Spanish and Portuguese and English um, in the different topics for uh, um, make it facilitate the teacher to implement the campaign. Uh, I have an incentive for participation for make a uh, 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 measured men in different places. This is, is the uh, school and teacher uh, win the, the, the incentive. An incentive for the participation in regional meeting. This is, is the school and the, the teachers and the students and, uh, and countries for participate in the regional meeting and present your project. This is the student with your project and the experience uh, field trip is the, the student. And new phase, maybe uh, continue Claudia. Okay. It's mute, uh, Claudia. Andrea. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, uh, Claudia and Anna have presented the results, and now we are going to see what's coming this year according to the topic GLOBE has uh, set for, for this um, working year, the year of climate and carbon. So, we have planned, we have made an uh, uh, elaborated a new plan for the, for the, from February to December and January for the whole uh, activities, uh, webinars, and uh, other things we have uh, thought to implement during the, the, next, the, the next campaign year, because uh, we thought that the first year it was a, a proving, a testing uh, campaign, so we have improved some things, we have changed others, and uh, according to the survey we did at the, at the, at the end of the last campaign, we um, saw that some things, some topics were interesting for the teachers, and now we are going to try to implement them during this year. There is the link to register for the campaign for the teachers, obviously, in Latin America and the Caribbean, and also citizen sciences, scientists that can uh, participate also. The next one, Anna, please. This year, the campaign will focus on analyzing the relationships of changes in climate variables in the development of trees and land cover throughout the year in the study sites that teachers have been uh, working till now or the new ones they, they can establish. Next one, Anna. We have set some specific objectives according to this general objective that are measuring trees, height and diameter to identify the growth patterns and trends of change. Uh, they can do this uh, according to the measurements they have done the, the previous year. They are going to observe and record the phenolo phenological response in leaf color, flower, fruits, and so on, of the trees to climatic variables throughout the year. Uh, we hope they, them to determine the carbon storage capacity of the measured trees. We, we try also to describe land cover changes where trees grow by identifying drivers of change uh, we pretend also to contribute to climate literacy by understanding their teleconnections to explain various events that impact social ecosystems, especially in the regions and the, um, the localities where uh, students and teachers are located. And recognize the most important tree species in the region. We, we do some emphasis in this one, in the last one, because uh, uh, we consider that 
they can identify uh, some important changes in the in the way trees behave according to the to the climatic uh, variables to the uh, latitudes to the uh, high um, altitudes uh, so the differences are important uh, in the same species to behave in different ways the next one anna so as expected results we hope from this campaign is to have biometry and phenology records of trees observed, uh, records of climatic variables throughout the year, as we, as we mentioned with, uh, with the protocols, research relating land cover change and use to climatic variables, estimation of the carbon storage potential of the trees studies. Uh, we pretend also, uh, we hope to, elaborate a calendar with popular trees in the region. We, we would like also to get from the teachers and the students narratives on trees, climate and carbon. And also, and this, is, this was introduced this year, training actions to explain conceptual and procedural elements of the campaign. The next one, please, Anna. Um, we have seen this with Claudia for the last year. So for this year, we have planned some more webinars according to the topics uh, teachers are interested in and the topics of this year, carbon and climate. Uh, we have uh, new protocols added to this campaign. We have IOPs as this, the last year, but in different uh, periods of time. Uh, we have new presenters for the webinars. We have planned a photography contest for the students and new tutorials and other resources in the three languages, Spanish, English, and Portuguese. Uh, some uh, new learning activities we have uh, developed in the region that are um, related or are um, in connection with some of the protocols and the topic of this campaign. Uh, the workshops and online modules we are implementing, the measurements we have planned, collaborative padlets, as uh, Claudia said, for the three species, but also for uh, collaboration in groups, uh, for teachers, uh, for schools that, we, uh, that want to, to make uh, research or projects uh, in collaboration, list of popular species uploaded by participants and project advice to present research projects to the IBSS like we did last year with some teachers that um, asked for it. And we offered all the tutorials, all the, the rubrics, uh, the assessment, personal assessment in during some meetings. So uh, we, we plan to continue with this. The next one, please, Anna. We have new challenges. For example, the photo contest for this year. We, last year we had the drawing contest for students. Now this year we pretend that the students take photos of the common or the popular or the most attractive uh, trees they have in their in their study sites for the flowers, for the fruits, for the um, um, the whole tree as as we see it in in the landscape. So this contest is for uh, students of primary school, one category, the, the other is for secondary school and the other is for university students and is um, being uh, applied from uh, March 1st to April 15th. Here is the link for the students in the region that they have to register with the activities. They have some, uh, for, uh, for example, some uh, requirements to participate uh, that are some data they have to collect during this period, uh, one month and a half. And they, the teachers must, must be uh, GLOBE teachers to participate in this contest. The next, please, Anna. The other uh, challenge we have faced for this year is a student postcast that we have planned uh, interviews with uh, some students 
that were part of the regional meeting in Panama last year, the incentive that uh, we, the regional office gave them to go to the, to the regional meeting to present their researches. And uh, we are going to interview them and some other uh, outstanding students in the region that uh, are uh, able during the, the classes to participate with uh, their opinions, their, uh, their projects that they are develop, developing, uh, their hopes, their new careers, and to know uh, more about themselves. New, next, please, Anna. We have added some protocols to this year campaign. For example, in Biosphere, we have added carbon cycle, of course, and fire fuel. And in the atmosphere uh, sphere, we have added clouds and relative humidity for the climate uh, part of the campaign. The next one, please, Anna. So we have mentioned about the intensive, intensive observation periods. We have three, mainly three, uh, one from April to May, one, the other from July to August, and from October to November, uh, that they uh, match with the fall, the winter, and the spring in the South uh, Hemisphere. And one optional one for the uh, Caribbean uh, schools that they have a slightly different period of classes from January to February. So in total, we have uh, four uh, intensive observation periods. We recommend them to participate, that they choose uh, two protocol protocols at least, for example, one from biosphere and one from atmosphere to um, relate to correlate them and make some uh, deductions for their projects. The other one. So uh, this is the end. This is Mariana and Josefina from the regional office. Mariana is the uh, regional coordinator. She is uh, listening now. Uh, if you want to ask uh, any of the information to her, she is here. Josefina is the secretary and uh, we the three, the committee, Claudia Caro, Ana Prieto, and myself that uh, are with the, the students and the teachers during the whole campaign, supporting and giving the webinars. So thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you so much, Andrea, Ana, and Claudia. And we'll open the okay. floor for questions. Maybe Mariana, you want to add something? No, I think you were really clear. Uh, thanks for the presentation. Uh, just uh, to add that this is the first time that the LAC region, uh, region has a, a com a known campaign uh, based on the interest in the within the region and the data collected within the region and the school calendar and the seasons too. So. That's why I think that's why we we have su just such a high level of participation and engagement. I have a question, and it kind of follows uh, Mariana what you just mentioned. Um, yes, yeah, great presentation, and it's really exciting to see how many students are participating in the IVSS and how many teachers you have engaged. And I'm wondering if um, the incentives, the student incentives and the teacher incentives, do you think that contributed to the high level of engagement or what, what do you think brought so many students and teachers to participate this year? I think that the most important thing is having a known campaign uh, based on the interest, on the region, on the weather, on the school calendar. And of course the incentives helps but if you can see, uh, it's not the only reason because uh, why they participate because there were only six teachers coming to the regional meeting and I have, we have around 500 teachers registered to the campaign. So uh, it couldn't be only the incentives. It's giving them the opportunity to, to have a, a campaign 
uh, based on their interest. And, and I think also that the participation during the IOPs, it was very high. Uh, we could see the, the, especially the differences between the periods that there were IOPs and the, the ones that there was, there was no IOP. So the participation, the engagement in the IOPs was also very high. And also, sorry, uh, also I would like to add that uh, giving the materials in all, their own language, like Spanish or Portuguese, it's also um, help them to, to participate and be more comfortable on participating in this kind of activities. Uh, all the materials are in the three languages of, of the region, Spanish, Portuguese and English. And uh, during the webinars, we had all, uh, also simultaneous translation so everyone can join and be part of the activities. That's great. Thank you so much. And the webinar helped a lot. Uh, the, the student and teacher how to make measurement uh, with the globe uh, observer or in in the measurement uh, in in Frien, in land see and also the tutorials and having a website with all the materials available for everyone yes. uh, to join whatever they want and uh, also the learning activities that were really developed for the campaign i think uh, there were no excuses for for saying I'm not going to join this campaign. <laughs> we we gave all uh, all teachers all the opportunities and the chances and the um, tools to to join the the campaign. And we we must also uh, highlight the the uh, commitment of some uh, country coordinators also mm -hmm. that have. Uh, pushed their teachers to participate and have been uh, supporting them during the year. This is also important. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you for providing so many excellent resources for students and teachers. Thank you. Um, and there is, a, there is a question in the chat from Brian yes. Campbell. Since the beginning of Trees Around the LAC, have you seen an increase in participants' interest in learning and understanding more about their environment? And have you seen an increase in sustaining that interest among participants? Yes, I can say that yes, because the participation, the, the high level of participation was um, through all the year, not only at the beginning of the campaign. So. I think we maintain the, the interest and the engagement during the, the whole year, and we expect to maintain it too during the second year of the campaign. Yes, and another thing is that many, many of the participants registered last year for the campaign because it's not an open campaign. We register them in a Google form and they, we have their, their data. So most of them have also uh, came with us <laughs> to this year. So I think it's good. It's good enough just to, to hold them with us. And we also, uh, parallel to the campaign, we conducted several workshops, uh, some of them virtual, some of them uh, in person. Uh, we were in Guatemala, in Belize, in Panama, uh, conducting in-person workshops. And we are going to be in Costa Rica next month. And we are also conducting a virtual workshop that we have a, around 300 teachers registered to the workshop. So uh, parallel to the campaign, we are training teachers to be able to, to implement the protocols that we are promoting uh, with the campaign. So this is a, like, a, of course, it's a group work and we give them all the, all the things that they need to, to be committed and engaged with the campaign. They can not say that we are, they are not training the, 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 the new protocols that we are promoting this year because we are running uh, the virtual workshop for them to be trained in the carbon cycle and the green up and green down and land cover. So they have all the, the opportunities to join. That's amazing. 300 teachers signed up for a workshop is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we need to keep them until the end of the workshop in May. So I will <laughs> let you know how many of them 
end it, but uh, it's it's really good to know that 300 teachers are willing to be trained at least. That's amazing. And for the last year, we trained uh, between 2022 and 2023, we trained around 200 teachers uh, mm. within the vision uh, as a virtual or in-person workshop. So yes, it, there is a lot of interest. When you give them the opportunity to have the materials in their own language, I think the, the engagement and the, yes. the level of participation gets really higher. That's great. And Yeshi, I saw you had your hand up earlier. Do you have a question for the team? Uh, thank you, ma'am. Actually, I thought that uh, uh, this webinar is for worldwide. Actually, uh, at, uh, after one uh, one hour of uh, attending this meeting, I, I felt that this is only for Latin American. Am I right? Or is it for the worldwide? It's for everyone. It's <clears throat> the Latin American and Caribbean team are sharing the excellent results of their um, YCC uh, campaign. Thank you, Alison. But uh, yeah, I, I know that uh, the webinar is very informative. I learned a lot. But I, I couldn't see even a single good news except myself. <laughs> That's why I felt that I, I'm in a wrong par a parking. Well, this webinar is being recorded and will be posted on YouTube and on our YCC webinar page. So please feel free to share it with, with others in your region. I think uh, we can all learn a lot from each other through Thank these you. webinars. All right, any other questions or comments? All right. Well, I just want to thank you again, Anna, Andrea, Claudia, and Mariana for this great work and sharing what you're doing with the rest of us. It's really inspiring. Thank you. Thank and thank you, you for much. inviting thank us. Thank you very much. Our experience. And of course, thank, always thank you to Brian. He was our first inspiration uh, <laughs> conducting the Trees Around the Globe campaign. So thanks for, for his help too. I think uh, to Brian, I learning a lot with the, <laughs> the campaign to make Brian. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you all. This webinar will be posted yeah. later today on globe.gov. So we'll be sure to share that out. But thank okay, you again thank for you. being here. Have a good day. Have a great thank day. You thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice to see you. Bye-bye.